I'm Tom Green, your host here on electrictv.net. A few months ago, we introduced the world to visible light communication, how LED lights can carry data to your computer or mobile device. Well, today we're back with part two and intend to show you that LVX System, an American company, is ramping up their manufacturing process and beginning to take orders from coast to coast. St. Cloud, Minnesota is the setting for our story today, and reporting is ETV's Dominic Gerritano. Before we begin, a quick refresher course. An LVX managed LED lighting system is 30 to 70 percent more efficient than fluorescence. The lights also cut down on your operating costs because they don't need to be maintained the way fluorescents do. Oh, and by the way, they transmit data wirelessly through the light. This is how LVX Western's 2x2 replacement light is assembled. The boards come into this first machine on the assembly line and solder paste is squeegeed onto a special mask with special holes. The paste fills in the holes in the mask where the components will be placed in stage two. Here, the smaller parts which make up the board are picked up by a robot and placed on the fresh solder paste. And boy, does it move fast. This machine's capable of placing those parts at up to 30,000 parts per hour. So you can imagine we can place a whole lot of parts really fast and really have some production coming through a machine like this. Much like this robot, its neighbor in stage three essentially does the same thing with much more accuracy than human hands are capable of. If you were doing it by hand, each part would be placed somewhat different than the one before it. This machine places each part exactly the same every time. The fourth and final stage is the oven, bonding the board and its pieces. The glue, the solder paste from stage one. This oven is temperature controlled and does not do any damage to the board or its components. After it leaves the oven, the next step is, is an inspection station where there's a camera that will inspect the parts and ensure that all of them are placed accurately, that none of them got moved in any of the other processes, and that we have a quality part that we're shipping to our customers. After a second quality control check by the lab technicians, it's time to finish the board. during which a worker places the optics, secures the board and the backing, and makes sure the power pack is connected so it can be turned on. We're looking at, constantly looking at sustainability and looking long term on how we can create greater efficiency, greater transmission of, of data. We're becoming more and more of an information society and uh, the, the capacity issue is always a problem with us. So it's, it's, it's sounded like a great opportunity to partner. And so we've had many conversations on trying to figure out how we can do that. And we finally able to come up with a contract and, and we're excited to be the first customer. We were looking at actually switching to LED lights anyway. So this is one of those things where not only do you have the efficiency of just the light, but the ability with that efficiency to create data transmission, which is something that uh, was, you know, years ago beyond our, our even our comprehension, and that's what the, where this partnership is really, uh, really unique for St. Cloud. This is something that I think, from any city's perspective, uh, is a revolutionary technology that's going to be uh, going to be with us a long time. But every city is looking at long term how you can create greater efficiencies, and this is something that uh, folks can look at uh, now to benefit their communities for a long time in the future. 